Dude, that's just awesome. Look at this thing. Hello guys, this is Jordan My Dad here. Hey everybody. And today we're back, and today we have a robotics kit called Robo Wunderkind. And we have to thank Robo Wunderkind for sending this to us before we get started. Yeah, you like saying that name? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, thank you for sending this to us. This is not a brand new kit. But first, we, we got to get to this name because when I first looked at it, I thought it was like Robo Wonderkind. Yes. But when you look at it, it has a U. And well, I went to dictionary.com yeah. and got the correct spelling of it. And I had no idea Wunderkind actually has a meaning. Do you know what it means? No. You, have, you don't even know. Well, I'm about to tell you. Wunderkind is a child prodigy, one who succeeds in a competitive or highly difficult field or profession at an early age. That's called a Wunderkind. For example, Julian is a Wunderkind at robotics. He made his first million dollars by the time he was age 16? I don't know. <laughs> Robo Wunderkind is from Vienna, Austria. And they got started on Kickstarter, uh, where they raised two hundred and forty-six thousand dollars back in two thousand and fifteen for what I believe was Generation One of this product. Um, this looks like Gen Two, which I believe came out earlier this year. And there are three kits. Jordan's going to talk about. So the first kit is the starter kit. The starter kit comes in at one hundred and seventy-nine dollars. This is the education kit, what we have right here and it comes in at $249. And if you want to upgrade one of the kits, you can get the advanced upgrade kit for $149. Yeah, and the difference in the starter kit and the education kit, there's a few more pieces in the education kit. Um, they're both great. Um, we don't have the advanced upgrade kit, but there's some really cool things in there too, like an LED screen and some more advanced stuff, which is uh, pretty cool, so. All right, so now we're gonna open up the box. Here we go. And inside the box, we have a bunch of different parts. So first off, we have the wheels right here, these big wheels. And we have the main power box, which we have already charged. We have the servo motor. We have the face. Which is a sensor as well. It can sense uh, walls and obstacles and stuff like that. We have two direct current motors. Okay, so there's three motors altogether. Yes, and then we have just one piece with... A wheel that is connected right now. Oh, that's not supposed to be connected. <laughs> no, that's, that's oh, I left it in there when I reboxed yes. it. Okay, then just another and just a block. piece. All right, and there's two more pieces in there. And here we have the button and the LED. And the LED light, a bunch of connector parts over there, and there's a piece to take it apart with, right? And we'll show that in a little bit. So Jordan's going to make a little kit real quick. We're going to see how fast he can build something. Go ahead and get started. And uh, there's two apps, right? Two apps. Two apps. You're going to turn it on. And so the main piece will make sounds. Why don't you turn it on real quick? The main piece will make sounds every time something's connected to it. Um, there's two apps. One app is the building and coding app, right, Julian? Yes. And the other app is the driving, I guess, and play app, I guess it is. And we'll show both of those afterwards. Julian's going to snap some things together. And snap that into that. And you can hear the click. And he's going to do it again. So we've been playing with this now for, what, three days? We've tweeted a few pictures out, we've built a few things, we've had some fun with it, and I gotta tell you, this is a cool product. Uh, it's bright, it's colorful, it's really easy to use, and unlike some other things that might take maybe an hour to build, I think, it's I think you did. <laughs> unlike other things that might take an hour to build, um, you can build something in five minutes, which Jordan's gonna show you, probably less than five minutes as he fixes what he did and we'll see what it looks like we had it planned out ahead of time but join uh you got it yeah all right good and clicking together we just need one more piece after this it gets that one on so i'm still looking at about a minute here a minute build it's not bad and then this will probably work, but we're just gonna add one extra. Oh, piece. I like that. So it just could roll like that if you wanted it to, right? Yes. Oh, there it is. Oh, so that's the stabilizer wheel? Yeah, I'm gonna put it back here. Okay. With this. One little connector. There's some special connectors in there we're gonna show afterwards. And that's the little balance the wheel. Bingo. Now you're going to turn the app on? Yes. All right. 
and we'll see what happens. All right, let's fire it up, and you'll be able to drive this around right now. So this is about two minutes in, and you just, we didn't plan this, you just kind of whipped this together, right? Now, could you have put the wheels on the ends of the orange joint? Yeah. Do you want to look? You, oh, wow. And just like that, you built a car or something like that? <laughs> something interesting. I like it. And the bottom wheel kind of spins too. It's nice. It's almost like a dolly wheel down there. So come to me real fast. Whoa, don't knock that over. It's got good balance. It's got good spin. It's nice. And turn. So this is the driving app. Ignore his cracked. It's not a screen. It's a screen cover. John, we have to fix that. Yeah. But again, it shows how it drives. It seems so pretty it's easy. pretty easy. But right now we have this orange piece backwards. So this. So if you hit play, this one will move it forward, and this one will move it backward and oh, left it's backwards. Yeah. Right now. Got it. And then when you add other parts, you can um, add in sounds which come out of the orange box. So if you wanted to have like a car sound, let me grab that. We'll put that over here, and then we'll hit cool. play and. Nice. So it just beeps. Mm -hmm. What else is there on that side over there? And if you add other stuff, you might get mic um things for the light and for the other mechanisms that are added. Gotcha. And what else? What other sounds are there? We have. I think this one's either mystery or a dog. Right, oh no, it. it's a dog. It's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool. That's, so it's pretty easy to steer and turn and maneuver around and stuff like that. Cool, so let me have you build something a little better. We'll build the robot we were talking about. We'll show what that looks like afterwards, right? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so now we're back, and I built a whole new robot right here. It's pretty cool. It's got a lot of new stuff and a lot of new features yeah, going Yeah, you on. took the orange block and moved it, instead of left to right, front to back, so it was more narrow. Can you turn him to the side real quick? Just let me turn him on, actually. Oh, I forgot to turn him on. And you added the button. The button's not working right now, but we made a flashlight earlier with the light, right? Oh, and it lights up. Earlier we had the flashlight on the light with the butt. We made a flashlight with the button, so you can turn them on. You can drive them. Does his head spin? Yes. If you go like this. Let's see. Oh, that's scary! It's Exorcist. <laughs> oh, that's great. So his head spins. You can change the color of the light. He can drive. Uh, the button doesn't do anything. Why don't you show the piece to remove the button real quick so we can show what that looks like, how easy it is. Well, you, you were pulling them off with your hand, but... Okay, so nice and easy, just prize open. So leave the... Okay, cool. Well, he's got a little top hat now. But cool, the button's cool. On top of that, there's a couple other pieces that we have to show. Why don't you grab those... Ooh, wow. Sound effect. I like that. How about those other pieces? The other pieces. This is the best part of the whole Robo Wunderkin because... The Lego pieces. Oh my goodness. So you can do anything. Julian's got something ready to go here. We're not done with our robot yet. So they are Lego plates. So you can add on and reconfigure. You have to push that first one down a little further. It can go down all the way. There you go. Snap them on nice and easy. Fix that. And Julian's got a couple of Legos. What do you have there, Julian? Two figures. Who are they? We have um, a Stormtrooper and uh, a Rebel. Stormtrooper and a Rebel. From Star Wars. And, oh, you got arms on him? Oh, that's great. He's a to the total package. He's a transporting ro- Dude, that's just awesome. Look at this thing. And his head's spinning, and he's flying around. And pretty cool. So I'm gonna build something now. While we've been doing this, I have an idea. I wanna see if it works. So I'm gonna make my build and try to do it in two minutes and we'll uh, show what it looks like. All right, so this is my ridiculous build. I decided to make a really tall robot. Julian's gonna see if he spins and whatnot. Oh, his head spins. All right, we got the head spinning. Oh, and now the whole thing spins. Uh, I'm going to say I did a pretty good job with this. Wouldn't you say so? Yourself? Yeah, it's a pretty big He's job. a wobbler. Pretty cool. He's wobbling. Can you get a light on? We got some light. You and can move this head. I, what's that? You can move this head too. Yeah, I know. I put them all on so you can move all different parts. It's pretty cool. So I used my imagination and I built my first robot. And he's just going to... His name's Dizzy. And someone call him Dizzy. Dizzy the robot. Well, anyway, that's it. Robo Wunderkind. 
This stuff's great. We're gonna keep building off camera and maybe tweet out some more pictures and throw them up on our Instagram channel. They're both SJ Gaming Boys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you, Robo Wunderkind. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Later, everybody.